A very good morning, grade three. This is maths chapter number fourteen, measures of capacity. I wish you all a very very happy new year, twenty twenty one. I hope this year brings so much joy and good health to all of you. So, students, as we already started our new chapter before our winter vacations. so we'll talk about this chapter and complete the practice exercise as well so shall we start here we are talking about capacity or you can say the word volume what is the meaning of capacity and volume when we are going to measure the quantity of liquid items that is contained also you can say uh, we can calculate it into the capacity or in a value so to two commonly used units to measure capacity or volume that is liter which we represent with the word l and milliliter which we represent with the word ml so to measure liquid liquids to measure them we use various kind of vessels as you can see when a milk man come to your house he bring one glass with a handle that is a you can say a vessel which he is using to measure the milk and he gives you that milk here are some you can say there are a little bit uh, you can what we said there is uh, lines made on which air written 200 ml or 300 ml or 1 liter this kind of uh, indications given on that beaker okay so on the basin so we use milk oil petrol kerosene etc by using those vessels we can measure milk oil petrol kerosene and etc so here we talking about 1 liter in 1 liter there are total 1000 ml when we count it up about 1 liter in 1 liter there are 1000 ml in all and we can write it like this 1 l is equal to 1000 ml this l and ml is the short form of the word liters and milliliters now we are going to do one exercise question number 3 of practice exercise 14a are you ready you students here are two questions question number a of question number 3 find the sum of 19 liter and 12 liter so we're going to solve it first we'll write l for the liter on the top and then we we'll solve it so 9 plus 2 becomes 11 So we'll write one here and give one carry to the another one on tens place. So one, two, and three it becomes thirty-one liter. It becomes thirty-one liter. Okay, this is the answer. Thirty-one liter. Next we talk about sixty-seven ml and two hundred three ml. So we'll write ml on the top. Here, two hundred and three is the bigger number than sixty-seven. So first of all, we write two hundred and three, and then we write sixty-seven. So we're going to solve it. Seven plus three becomes ten. So we'll write zero here and give carry forward one to the tens place. So six plus zero is six plus one is seven. So we'll write seven here, and this two comes down as usually because there is nothing to add on. So the answer will be two hundred and seventy ml. I hope you all understand how to solve the sum of liters and the milliliters. Now we are going to find some differences. Okay. Now we are going to solve, find the difference of. This is question number four. This is question number four. Find the difference of. Here we have one sixty ml and three hundred and seventy five ml. So first of all, we write the bigger number first, and then the smaller number because we need to find out the difference. And when we find out the difference between two numbers, we have to place the bigger number on the top and the smaller number on the downside. 
So 5 minus 0 becomes 5. 7 minus 6 becomes 7 minus 6 become 1. And 3 minus 1 becomes 2. So we have 215 ml. So we'll write 215 ml. This is the answer of the question number A. Now we are going to solve question number B. Again we place the bigger number on the top and the smaller number on the downside. So 48 liter and 65 liter. So first of all we solve the ones place number. We cannot minus small or bigger number from the smaller number. So we'll just give the carry from the tens place. When we give carry, it becomes 15. It becomes 15. So 15 minus 8, here we have 7 left. So we'll write 7 here. And on the test place, when we give 1 carry to this number, here we have only 5 left. So 5 minus 4 become 1 is left. Not become, uh, when we subtract 5, 4, We'll, here the number 1 is left over here. So we have 17 liter. So this is the answer of question number B. Now students you all have to solve question number C and D. Of both the question, question number 3 find the sums of and question number 4 find the difference of. This is your homework which you all have to solve it in your copy by your own. Thank you so much. Happy New Year once again and God bless you all.